every time I speak, I give it my best, 100%. I mean, why would I speak without giving? I mean, I value people. I tell people, I value you so much, I'm going to do well. I mean, you deserve it. I value you so much, I'm going to come in 100%. I, I'm going to give you my very, I'm going to look at you with integrity and say, I'm giving you my best shot right now. He said something last night, we were having dinner and, and we were talking about even really super successful people and the personality that it's like, I know what I'm doing. I know where I'm going. I, and that was me in my first business. That's why yeah, I lost sure. it ultimately. Right. And, and you said something last night that I, I just love my listeners to hear. And that is no matter how good you are at what you're doing, no matter how impactful you are, there's always a better way always to do better it. Way. Yeah, no, there's no question about it. I, I never assume when I write a book or when I speak or when I do a cast vision, I never assume that I have given them the final answer. Now, this is good. I, I, I'm glad you brought this up because let me, let me make a distinction between best and better. I was having a, a dinner one time. We were traveling international a couple years ago with Mark Cole, who you know, Mark, yep. who runs everything for me. And Mark said, John, I, I watch you. When we have a victory, you just celebrate big time with us. And, but within 24 hours, you're, you're so off of that. You're back in the game. And he said, I watch us have some losses and hits, and we all want to go suck air and go find a bridge to jump off. And you kind of groan with us for about, an, a, about just about a day. And, and then you're back in the game again. It's, it's kind of like it never happened. The, the success never happened. The failure never happened. And he said, talk to me about how do you, how do you emotionally get through all this and, and, and kind of steady back right in, into the game. And I told him, I said, well, it's the difference between best and better. Every time I speak, I give it my best, 100%. I mean, why would I speak without giving? I mean, I value people. I tell people, I value you so much, I'm going to do well. I mean, you deserve it. I value you so much, I'm going to come in 100%. I, I'm going to give you my very, I'm going to look at you with integrity and say, I'm giving you my best shot right now. That's a fact. But when I'm done, I don't assume that that's the best I could ever do with that. I just assume it was the best I could do at that moment. So the next day, I'm looking for better. In fact, best, which is kind of like the ceiling in the moment, the next day is the floor. I'm building on best now. I, I'm saying, okay, there are a few things. I, if I probably would have put it in that talk, I could have just ratcheted that up a little. And I just keep working it and tweaking it and, 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 and making it better. So the next time I'm doing I'm in, I'm in a constant state of improvement and bettering myself, which improves and betters everybody else. And I just, I believe that there's always a better answer. So if somebody said, is this your best book? When I wrote it, it's my best book. But three years later, it's not my best book. In fact, I can look back at it three years later and say, oh my gosh, I should have said this. What would have happened if I'd have told them that? So if, as long as we're growing, as long as we're growing, we have great anticipation that our best today will get better tomorrow. So, and I, my expression is don't rest on the best. I, I hate when people say, oh my gosh, we got it. We got it. You, you got it. You, I mean, you, you really got it? You must be amazing. I, I've never known anybody that got it. So, I mean, you don't need to improve, change, work it anymore. It's, it's oh my gosh, it's build a statue to you. I, I don't think I've ever met anybody that good. I never, ever have done anything where I felt that I got it. I'm getting it, and I'm working it, and it's the best I can do right now, but it'll get better. Golly. I just want, I just, I just want to underline for every single person listening to this, that when you think you got it and you think it's the best you can do, just remember, it can always be better. Yes. And can I add one more? Yes. Let me, let me tell you something. The people that you have around you, they have to have that same thinking. Nothing is worse for a leader than the people coming around that leader and say, that was just awesome. That was so good. My gosh, we found it. I want people around me when it's done say, John, that was just what we needed right now. Let's get to work on it. Let's now let's bring it up another notch. And, and so for me, there's no finish line. There's no finish line at all. When people say, well, I, whew, I finally got that project done. I said, no, you just got that project done for now. Let me put it this way. My best today won't solve the problems of tomorrow. Mm. I know that for a fact. It is impossible. So if I settle and rest on the best, I am going to miss tremendous opportunity in the future to improve life, people, and, and myself because somehow I thought that I had uh, found it. We don't find it, we pursue it. And so the finish line's always out there, it's always out there. Somebody asked me, he said, you're 75, when, you know, when are you gonna cross the finish line? I said, I won't. I, I, I'll die stretching, but it'll still be in front. I, I, when I die, I won't say, oh, I, I crossed the line. No, I died, 
but I didn't cross the line. I, I was still stretching for it.